good morning students i hope you all are fine at home are you all enjoying your online classes i hope you all enjoy today we are going to learn about articles in the previous class we have seen indefinite articles and today we are going to learn about definite articles before starting definite articles we'll just see the recap of indefinite articles which we have learned in the last class so what is an article an article is a word used to modify a noun which is a person place object or animal so what does it mean so a word that is an article is used to modify a noun mean it means change the noun what is a noun it is a naming word which refers to a person place object or animal so we use article before noun so it adds information about a noun an article is an adjective which adds information about noun so an article can also be called as an adjective why is it so an adjective means describing word it also describes the noun so the article is also doing the same so an article as well as an adjective adds information about noun so we use articles before noun and also before adjective now you must be clear right what is an article it is a word used to modify a noun and it is also an adjective which adds information about noun there are two types of articles definite article and indefinite article so what comes under articles a and the these three words comes under articles so this is divided into two types definite article and indefinite article you all must be clear about indefinite articles because we have learned in the last class can anyone say what is indefinite article yes indefinite articles are used to refer general noun what are the indefinite articles a and an and what is definite article the so it is used to refer a specific person place or thing or animal so we are referring specific noun or a particular noun so we must assess what is the noun given in a sentence whether it is a general noun or a specific noun so articles are of two types definite article and indefinite articles a come a and an comes under indefinite article the comes under definite articles let us see this in detail indefinite article as i already said a and an comes under indefinite articles what is indefinite article a comes before a singular noun that begins with a consonant sound so indefinite articles are a and an where do we use it we use it before the singular noun and it must begin with a consonant sound you all know what are vowels and consonants vowels are a e i o u these five alphabets are called vowels and the rest of the alphabets are called consonants but here we must know about the sound not the letter so a must be used before a singular noun and it must begin with a consonant sound look at the example a rat so here it is a singular noun so one rat is here so we are using a rat and also see rat it begins with r r is a consonant sound so we are using a before it so a rat next example is a house why we are using a here because we have only one house that is a singular noun and 
the word starts with consonant sound h h not a uh. so we are using a uh before house next is an an comes before singular noun that begin with a vowel sound so a uh comes before singular noun but it begins with a consonant sound whereas an comes before singular noun but the word must begin with a vowel sound what are vowels a e i o u these five letters are vowels for example an adult here why we have used an a uh, so the word adult starts with vowel sound a uh, so we are using an an adult and also here it refers to a person so he is a person so it is noun an x ray an x ray so why we are using an here because x is not a vowel but we have used an here why is it so because x starts with a a sound so we have used an because x ray is starting with a vowel sound so we have used an here a and an can also be used before adjective that comes before a noun as i already said articles can also be used as adjectives where we use adjective before a noun because it describes about a noun so an an can also be used before adjective that comes before a noun let us see with some example our school has got a new captain here our school has got a new captain because they have got only one captain here new it refers to the captain is new here so we have used a before new is an adjective captain is a noun so we have used a new captain because yan is a consonant next example here he is an intelligent boy here he is an intelligent boy i intelligent i so it starts with a vowel sound so we have used an here what is intelligent intelligent is a quality of a boy so it is an adjective because it describes about the boy which is a noun here so we are using intelligent boy and we are using an before the adjective are you all clear about a uh, and an okay let's recap it a uh, and an are indefinite articles so we all know that are used to speak of someone or something for the first time so if you are speaking about a person if you are starting it for the first time we use articles a uh, and an and the next point they are used with a noun in general here the noun must be in general sense that is for example we have used right an adult adult is a an aged person here aged person or referred as adult right here we have mentioned about only one person it is an adult so it is in a general sense for example we have a test tomorrow so what does it mean we are going to have a test tomorrow only one test so we have mentioned a uh, and it also starting with consonant sound ved wants to be an umpire a uh, umpire so here a uh, this umpire starts with a uh, sound that is a vowel sound so we have used an we saw a frog jump with an egg on its back a uh, frog so it means one frog why we have used a it is a singular noun and starts with consonant sound f 
so we have used a why we have used and there with an egg on its back because egg starts with vowel so starting with the vowel sound so we are using and here now you must be clear about the usage of a and an which are indefinite articles till now we have seen the recap of last class and now we are going to see about definite article what is definite article definite article is the where we use it we use it to refer directly to specific or particular nouns that is in specific or particular noun means for a particular thing so only one thing will be there not more things they are placed before both singular and plural nouns so indefinite articles are used before singular nouns but here definite articles can be used before both singular and plural nouns let us see with example rajiv wants to buy a motor bike here why we have used a here because motor bike is singular and it is mentioned in a general sense it also starts with consonant m so we have used a here rajiv wants to buy the motor bike that he saw in the showroom yesterday why we have used the here because already we have mentioned about motor bike for the second time we are using motor bike here so for the first time we use a if you use the same for the second time we use the let us see why we have used in the first sentence there are many types of motor bikes and raju wants to buy any one of them hence we use a so as i said in the first sentence there are many types of motor bikes but here they have not mentioned about a particular brand but here motor bike is used in a general sense because we have so many types of motor bikes but raju wants to buy any one of them so we have used a the second sentence raju wants to buy the specific motor bike why is it specific motor bike because we have already mentioned motor bike in the first sentence that is the motor bike which he wants to buy now so it is particular that he has seen the motor bike the day before so that motor bike he wants now so rajiv wants to buy the specific motor bike that he saw in the showroom yesterday hence we use the are you all clear students here are some examples for definite article the now read these sentences the cow is a useful animal why we have mentioned the here because the cow it may be any cow so we have used here in a general sense the cow and very particular we have mentioned cow here the second sentence the elephant is the largest land animal here the elephant is the largest land animal means is the one and only animal which is very large so we have used the because in particular we have mentioned elephant we didn't mention animal here we have particularly named it the third one the ostrich is a flightless bird it's particular that ostrich is the only bird which does not fly that is flightless bird so you are very particular about ostrich here so we have used the so when we use the animal names in the general sense we need to use the instead of a or an the above sentences relate the facts about all cows all elephants and ostriches so we have used the here look at the differences in the usage of the given articles for example i saw a butterfly in the garden so it is in the specific sense why is it in specific sense because it may be 
any other insect but in particular we have mentioned about butterfly so we have used a butterfly in the garden the butterfly is a colorful insect here why we have used general sense because there are so many butterflies which are colorful but in particular we have mentioned the butterfly is a colorful insect because we have used it for the second time so we have used the here here are some more examples for definite article the we use the before things that is only one of its kind it means it is only one we don't have any other thing compare with that so we use the before things that is only one of its kind like the sun the moon and the earth because we have only one sun one moon and one earth we don't have any of its kind right so we have used the here and we also use the before the name of the ocean example the indian ocean because only one indian ocean so we have used the name of the river so we have only one river in the name of the ganges and name of seas example the arabian sea so the is used before arabian sea because we have only one arabian sea so we have used the and name of a desert why we have used the because we have only one tar desert there are so many deserts but in particular we have only one tar desert we don't have any other tar desert so we use the before things that is only one of its kind are you all clear about definite articles and indefinite articles so before using the articles a uh, and and the read the sentence carefully understand it and then use the articles i hope you all understood about articles you all are clear about it right now we are moving on to the next topic same word as different parts of speech here what are parts of speech parts of speech here we are using noun and verb there are so many but here we are using noun and verb a word is given we must use it as a noun as well as verb what are noun nouns are naming words it can be either name of a person place thing or animal example a boy is a person a dog is a animal is an animal right and verb is a action verb for example run jump this is action performed by person let us see with example word is the first column and second column is noun and third column is verb here the first word is water so what is water we all know it is a liquid right so water is a noun and how it is used as a verb for example what are the plants so watering the plant is the action performed by a person so water here refers to the action so we have used it as verb the second word is book so a book is a noun because it is a thing right the book that we read it is a thing we read so it is a noun and how we use it as a verb to book a seat to book a ticket here booking means reserving so booking is action done by a person to get a seat or to book a ticket so booking is a verb that is action here so we have used book both as noun as well as verb so with this we are going to see an exercise using a verb both as noun as well as verb say whether the following words are used as a noun or as a verb tick the correct option this is the exercise given in page number 19 in your textbook the first word is bear the tree bears a lot of fruits here bears refers to noun or verb here the tree bears a 
lot of fruits it means the tree is bearing it has it holds a lot of fruits so here it refers to verb because it is action performed by tree it is holding lot of fruits so here bad means holding or having so we must tick verb here In the second sentence the bear is an animal that eats both plants and animals so here the sentence itself says it is about an animal right so bear here is an animal so animal comes under noun or verb an animal is a noun so we have to tick noun here the second one is cook the first sentence my friend cooks well here cooks refers to noun or verb my friend cooks well so cooking is a action done by his friend so it is a action here so we have to tick verb second one you have to find out my friend is a good cook so what is cook referred here noun or verb is a good cook it is a profession that is the person who prepares food is called as cook so here cook is a noun so we have to tick noun here so you must be clear right a word can be used both as well as noun and verb here i have taught you a and b the rest of the alphabets given in your book or your assignment you have to complete it in your book are you all clear about this same word as different parts of speech now you must be clear about articles right so i have given an assignment for you complete it and this is today's assignment complete page number 18 19 21 22 23 24 and 25 in your textbook so these exercises are based on what we have learnt today that is about articles and the last exercise what we have seen now that is same word as different parts of speech so complete it in your textbook see you in your next class with a new topic thank you